Next is cruising, and like you said, that yeah, that, that was, was the, like first the first one. one. That was before we even knew we were gonna write an EP yeah. or an album. I feel like we might have had like aspirations, but like we never actually thought we would follow through. Yeah, with and that was like I don't know. It just came together so well, yeah. and like like his whole guitar thing, he just freestyled everything, and like I don't know, it just worked out super yeah. well. And I was. The part where Janie sings, I was originally going to have on the instrumental part where it's in between my verses. Uh, that's where we recorded it. And then Warren was like, nah, keep it an <laughs> instrumental. <laughs> and I was like, well, I still kind of want to do something with it. So I tagged down the end and it worked out well. And then there's like that solo at the end. And I just, I like it a lot. And like Warren would always say it's too long, but I just like how it sounded. So I let it play out. That one was like looking back on some of these songs because we wrote them like like that was almost a year ago when we wrote that. Hmm. Yeah, because we started. Um, it was like, like June Jam, you know, is when we like like May and June. Yeah, but um, looking back on like how much I've improved as a musician since then, especially in cruising in the city, it's like I don't know. I mean, it doesn't actually sound amateurish. I don't think, but just like how I would play it would be different yeah. now, I feel like. Yeah, your style has changed a little bit. In the first verse, there's a part where I say, seconds turn to years, turn to memories. When we part ways, I hope you remember me, not for who I was, but for who I was meant to be. I won't be the same different name when they mention me. Um, and my friend asked what that meant. Um, so when I wrote that, I was kind of writing it from the perspective of like, when we part ways, hope you remember me, not for who I was before I was meant to be like, when it, so the, like there are some people that you just drift apart from, some like you're good friends with them and then all of a sudden you start talking or like some people that you split for a certain reason or whatever. But um, I'm saying like, even though that happens, I hope that you still think of me and remember me um, even after we don't talk anymore, but not as like who I was when we used to talk, but for the potential I had and like what I had inside me for the future, because ultimately I'm still going to grow, like I'm going to keep growing as a person and I'm going to improve in my life, whether it's like me as a person or in my music. And, um, when we do run in, run into each other again in the future, we're both going to be way different. And I don't want you, whether you had bad memories of me before or just certain ones, I don't want you to stay stuck in that because I'm going to change ultimately. And I also say, um, I won't be the same different name when they mention me. So like, like we're all going to change and I'm going to be known differently in the future than you knew me in the past. And like, even in a more literal sense, that could be like in the future, um when my music is like more popular and stuff when it is okay. when it yeah if. did i say if no you said when yeah when okay <laughs> yeah. right so when my music is more popular <laughs> when my music is more popular i'm gonna be more like commonly known to other people as my stage name on evil versus like my actual name so it's like um like it's gonna be different like people are gonna be calling me a different name in the future and it's just everything's gonna be different so don't stay stuck in our past memories but um just like accept people as being dynamic yeah like we're not yeah. all stuck in Pe people are gonna phase. change and when we run into run into each other again in the future um just, I don't, I don't know if that's just what it is. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>